correr means to move over. Okay, move over. Uh, similar situation as the previous one. So you want someone to, to move over in this situation. Before it was like more move that chair, move that table and so on. So for example, ¿Puedes correrte un poco hacia allá? ¿Puedes correrte un poco hacia allá? <laughs> Maybe you're taking a picture and you can say this or someone can say this if that person is taking a picture of you or a group of people. So, ¿Puedes correrte un poco hacia allá? <laughs> so this means, can you move over that way a little? Okay. So, you <laughs> or maybe the person is in the way. I don't know. It could happen, right? Uh, you can just add, please, por favor. <laughs> Remember to be polite. That's important. ¿Puedes correrte un poco hacia allá? Can you move over that way? A little bit, just a little. <laughs> so let's break this down. Puedes. Puedes is a great word uh, if you want to ask someone to do something. Puedes. It's great. It's great. It's polite. And I mean, it's not that formal. If you want to be formal, you can remove the letter S. Puede. And that's formal extra mega polite okay <laughs> but um, informal but polite uh, puedes okay puedes puede super formal puedes formal but well, not formal but informal but polite <laughs> puedes 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 you can use that with your friends family uh, puede is more like uh, for people that you don't know at all uh, or someone who is your boss, for example. Uh, so that's an important difference. Puedes means can you, okay, can you correrte, correrte, we're using, we're using it in like a reflexive way. So you add the pronoun te, correr, te. Okay, correrte, uh, move over, but you're saying it to a person, to you. Can you move over? Okay, puedes correrte. Un poco, un poco means a little. Hacia allá, hacia allá is a common phrase that means that way. Hacia allá, okay. It's an important phrase to remember. Hacia allá. Where did this person go? Hacia allá. <laughs> that way. Okay. So that's very important. Excellent. That is the first example. As you can see, now we're talking about a person, right? We're talking about, you know, a hey, move over, <laughs> over there. <laughs> so you can use correr. In that situation, usually you will have to add a uh, pronoun, like a, a reflexive pronoun, te, me, le, um, and so on. Excellent. Now the second, the second uh, example, or let's look at another example. Correte un poco. Correte un poco. Me estoy cayendo de la cama. Correte un poco. Me estoy cayendo de la cama. Do you know what this means? <laughs> this could happen. It could be a common thing for sure. <clears throat> this means move over a bit. I'm falling out of bed, okay? So maybe you're sharing your bed, 
you know, with your partner. And <laughs> that person is just very comfortable, you know, <laughs> using pretty much more than half of the bed. So <laughs> maybe you just need a, you need to let this person know, move over a bit, <laughs> you know, correte un poco. You can also say, muévete, okay? So, mover also works in these situations. Puedes moverte un poco hacia allá. It's good, common thing to say. Or, muévete un poco. Me estoy cayendo de la cama. That's also correct. But sometimes, Spanish speakers will say, corre. Okay, we'll, we'll use corre. Or, correr, sorry. Correte un poco. Me estoy cayendo de la cama. What does this mean? Move over bed. I'm falling out of bed. Uh, let's break this down. Correte. Correte means move over. Okay. It's a command. Un poco. You know what it means. We have it here. Un poco means a little, a bit, a little bit. Well, a little bit is un poquito, <laughs> right? But uh, un poco means a little or a bit, okay? Un poco, a bit. Me estoy means um, I am. You can also say yo me estoy, but yo... I mean, we don't use yo all the time. So, me estoy is a more common way to say uh, in the situation that you're, you know, falling. Me estoy cayendo. Me estoy cayendo means I'm falling. <laughs> cayendo comes from the verb caer, another great Spanish verb. We can talk about it in a future lesson, but... Um, me estoy cayendo means I'm falling, okay? De la cama, out of bed. Cayendo de la cama, cayendo de la cama is a whole, or not cayendo, this is conjugated of course, but caerse, caerse de la cama is a common phrase that means to fall out of bed, okay? So I'm just going to put it here so you you know how to write it. Uh, caerse de la... Oops. One sec. One sec. Caerse de la cama means to fall out of bed. Yo me caigo de la cama. Tú te caes de la cama. Me caí de la cama. Okay? So that whole thing means to fall out of bed. Caerse de la cama. Um, so remember that. But anyways, we're talking about correr. So sometimes correr means to move over. Okay? Correte para allá. Move over. Over there. Okay? Or, puedes correrte un poco hacia allá. Can you move over that way a little? Okay. Or, correte un poco. Me estoy cayendo de la cama. Move over a bit. I'm falling out of bed. <laughs> okay. I'm falling. Please help. <laughs> it happens. It happens for sure. Um... <laughs> 